everybody, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute fingerless mitts. This is a collaboration I'm doing with my friend Donna from Nastasia. She has made a matching scarf and I also made a matching pair of boot cuffs as well as some printable labels that you can put on your items when you gift them. So here are the fingerless mitts we'll be making and you'll be using about 37 yards of the blue in heat wave as well as 37 yards of the radio gray as well. We are also going to be using a size H five millimeter crochet hook for this project. So to start this project, you're just going to chain 30. This is designed to fit an adult woman's hand. And then for row one, we are just simply going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook and every chain across. At the end of row one, you're simply going to slip stitch to the first double crochet. And just so you know, I do not count my turning chains as a stitch in any of my patterns. Later, we'll use this tail heel to sew up the bottom of this row. For now, I just want you to chain one. Now, if you look, you can see the front loop here. We have a back loop here, but what we're going to be working into is what they call the third loop or the back middle bar. It's just this horizontal bar at the back of your stitch. So we're going to yarn over and work a half double crochet into that third loop. And then and as you begin to work this into the third loop, you'll notice that the front and the back bar will actually get turned forward and give us almost a knit like look. So just go ahead and work a half double crochet into every third loop all the way around. And then when we in, reach the end of row two, we are just going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. And now we'll simply repeat this row twice more. So row three and four is going to be a chain one and then half double crochet into the third loop all the way around. So here we are at the end of row four and we're getting a nice kind of faux knit look at the bottom of our mitts. We're just going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet and then we are going to chain up two but in the very first chain one we are going to change over to our blue yarn. Of course it's best if you don't lose your loop while doing this. So just pull that through the loop, tighten your gray yarn and yarn over to make another chain. And then still working in the third loop, we are going to double crochet into the first stitch. So then in our next stitch, we are going to work two double crochet together. So going into the next third loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, Going into the next stitch, third loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's going to be two double crochet work together. Then you will chain one and simply repeat. Work two double crochet together. So then in the next two stitches, you are just going to double crochet two together again, chain one and simply repeat that all the way around your cuff. And then when you reach the very end of row five, you'll have that last chain one, and then you will double crochet into the very last stitch. You'll notice for this row, we will always start with a double crochet and we will always end with a double crochet. Now slip stitch to your very first double crochet and you are done with this row. So then we will chain two and turn. Again, start with a double crochet into the very first stitch. And now you're going to work two double crochet into the chain one space and into every chain one space around this row. So then two double crochet into the next chain one space and just keep repeating that around the row. So then when you reach the end of this row, you're going to notice that we have a little bit of a gap. We're just going to skip that double crochet two together and work a double crochet into the very last stitch. 
and then we are going to slip stitch to the very first double crochet. Moving on to the next row, we are going to chain two and turn, and we're going to double crochet into the first stitch. Again, I said there's always going to be a double crochet in the first and the last stitch of every row. So now we're actually going to start making our thumb hole here. So we're going to stop slip stitching at the end of the rows. Double crochet into the first stitch, and then we are going to do two double crochet together over the next two stitches. So complete that, and then you will chain one. You'll notice I did not do a chain between the first two stitches. So chain one here, and then work two more double crochet together and repeat that all the way around this row. Two double crochet together, and then chain one. So then when you reach the end of this row, just chain one and then double crochet into the very last stitch. Now again, we are making the thumb hole opening, so we will not slip stitch at the end of this row. Instead, just chain two and turn your work. Now for this row, we're gonna start with a double crochet into the very first stitch, and then two double crochet into the first chain one space. Now all you're gonna do is work two double crochet in every chain one space all the way around. So here we are at the end of row eight, and you'll notice there's no chain one space in between these two stitches, so I'm just gonna work a double crochet into the very last stitch. Again, we're going to chain two, there's no slip stitch because we're still making that hole, and then we're gonna double crochet into the very first stitch. So then over your next two stitches, we're simply going to double crochet two together. All right, and then we're just gonna chain one, and that is our repeat for this row as well. So double crochet two together again, and then chain one. And repeat that all the way around. And then to finish this row, make sure you chain one for your last repeat and then double crochet into the very last stitch. So then we will chain two again and turn, work a double crochet into that very first stitch, and then work two double crochet in each chain one space all the way around. And then complete row 10, you are going to skip that two double crochet together and work a double crochet into the very last stitch. Now this is a last stitch we're gonna leave open. So for this stitch, row 10, you are going to slip stitch the ends of your rows together. So to start row 11, you're going to chain two and turn, double crochet into the very first stitch We're gonna work two double crochet together. And then we will chain one. And just like the previous rows, we'll repeat that all the way around this row. So to finish this row, you will just chain one and double crochet into the very last stitch. and then slip stitch to the very first double crochet. So now we're ready to work the top of our fingerless gloves. So just take your gray yarn and yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook to change colors. Try not to lose your loop, but hey, it does happen to the best of us. <laughs> so using the gray yarn, I am going to chain two Pull that blue type one more time. Now I'm gonna work a half double crochet into the very first stitch. And then for the rest of this row, just work two half double crochet into every chain one space. And do that all the way around this row. 
So to finish row 12, you're just going to half double crochet into the very last stitch and slip stitch to the first half double crochet. Now for the next row, we will not turn. We are going to chain one. It's going to be similar to the rows we did at the bottom. And we are going to half double crochet into each stitch around, working into that third loop to create a knit look on the top of these fingerless gloves. And you're going to be doing this for both rows 13 and 14. And when you reach the end of row 14, you'll just slip stitch to the first half double crochet of that row. You can fasten off your yarn, weave in all your ends, and your fingerless glove is done. You're just going to need to make a second one for a matching pair. And then you're able to keep your hands nice and warm. I also find these are very helpful to have in the summer when your steering wheel is really hot as well. So make sure to check out the other matching sets, both mine and the one at Nastasia. And I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe.